Hey guys, what you just saw was a little bit of the baby shower. That's all the footage I got for Saturday. Uh, Jeff and Noah went hunting. My eyes are super red after I took my contacts out for some reason. So please excuse that. But I don't know what I'm going to be recording tomorrow. And we'll just have to see. But that's what we did today. It was really fun. It was really good time with celebrating the baby and everything. And Jeff and Noah had fun too. So... I will see you guys again tomorrow because, like I said, that's all I got for today. And it was a really good family fun time. Oh, Jeffrey, huh? say hello. <laughs> you weirdo. I made that one Yep. I'm filming something. I almost dropped it. Can't see it. You took it away. <laughs> She's making a salad. Need a couple little ones. Now she's gonna make some tomato. <laughs> I think that's what, Oh, that's seasoning, okay. Not tomatoes this time. I keep hearing somebody messing with the gate over there. I don't know. Y'all need to get some tomatoes. <laughs> She's getting tomatoes now. Season. That's going to be a seasoned salad. A bug trying to get me. So is his salad gonna be ready when he gets back? He swapped guns. Probably not because they had the fork. He swapped guns, he said. She's about got your salad ready. The spoon ain't spooning. The <laughs> spoon ain't spooning. It won't work. How you use a fork? Yeah, you need a fork for a salad. I got a fork somewhere. <laughs> There's a And there's your salad. Oh, box salad. I've never had a box salad before. <laughs> it's got a spoon and a fork in there for you. The spoon ain't spooning. No, the spoon ain't spooning too well. There's your spoon. It ain't spooning. Yeah, try your fork. <laughs> there's a fork. <laughs> Just taste it.
Was it yummy? <laughs> was it yummy? Yeah. <laughs> Hey guys, what you just saw is a little bit of today, which is Sunday, the hunting. And I was not going to add this part in this video, but I decided since I didn't have much to share with y'all, this is crooked. How y'all get crooked like that? Anyway, since I didn't have much to share in this video and I had said I was gonna do this collaboration, and I was going to do it sometime this week anyway, that I would go ahead and do it now. And what I have here is a box from Amazon. I'm not showing you the front because it has my address on it. Um, there's nothing other than just a brown box anyway. But I'm about to open this up. Actually, let me just take the label off. That way I don't have to worry about y'all seeing it then i'm gonna flip y'all around a little bit so you can see what i'm doing here um this is a saker three-in-one wireless vacuum cleaner and i'm gonna open it up and show you guys what it looks like it's a very small vacuum and it's handheld as i said it's cordless and it's supposed to do um it's supposed to have several things in this box it's supposed to have the blow long nozzle um, with a, and a brush, or maybe it's got the brush on it. Yes, it's got the brush on it. And it's got a long and flat suction mouth plus the brush with it. And I'll show you all that too. The multifunction air blower, the multifunction pumping nozzle, the fine steel filter element, storage bag, USB charging cable, and a floor brush. And, um,. I will link it down below. I do not have a um, coupon code or anything like that, but this is what it looks like. It's a three-in-one vacuum cleaner, and it's just handheld, and it's small, and I thought this would be kind of neat to use for little things like my desk area or for like little things like in the truck. And another thing that I liked about it was the filter is made out of fine steel and you can wash it. It's, it's washable. And um, you're supposed to, it's also got a brushless motor, but you're supposed to be able to um, have like, it's got suction and blowing. I, I've got to figure out how that works. This is the bag that it came with. It's a little, um, a little string, tie string bag, little bag like that. And then it's got little attachments to get into tiny places. It's got the USB, which is the C type USB, which is like what most phones that are not, not Apple phones, but Android phones have now. It's like the like that, and it's got this long ball of thing, long nozzle. It's got there's one of the brushes. You can put that onto there, and it's also got this little nozzle, and it's got the brush that goes with it, like that. Let's see if it can show up a little better. It's not the best lighting over here. And this is the filter. And you can clean this. This is the little, this is so cute to me because it's a little nozzle like that. That, um, let me see if I can get better lighting coming this way. I don't know. Yeah, that is better. But you can see it's like that. And this is the actual little, um, now the light is terrible. Come on, there we go. This is the actual little uh, vacuum. So it says, dust accumulation on the filter can reduce the suction power of the vacuum cleaner, causing a weaker suction. Please clean the filter in time or replace with a new one. And it has a customer service email there. But I'm going to see, I'm going to have to, it says, 
before use please fully charge and press for three seconds long press long for three seconds to start up then press short to switch to high grade so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you you just how to attach these let's see you just like that is that one and I've got to figure out these round ones because I'm not sure how to hook those to it unless well no that wouldn't work you don't hook this to it and then this this right here just hooks like this But I've got to figure out how these hook up. But I'm going to charge it, and I'll come back. Okay, so, again, this is the vacuum. Well, I can't show you because it's not going to... There we go. It's the Saker. I think I'm saying that right. I'm not sure if I'm saying it right or not. Let me pull the thing back up so I can show you again. Or so I can tell you a little bit about it. This is the Saker, and this is the dust collector. I've read a little bit about it now. This is a paper filter that you have to replace like every three months. I'm not going to use that one right now. I may use it at some point, but I'm not going to use it right now. I'm just going to put it in the box because I can use this one and wash it and it lasts a long time. <laughs> Excuse me, I know I haven't been home all day, but why are you screaming at me now? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, I just put that right back in there, and I'm going to put the um, dust collector back on it. I'm still learning about it. This is the long part um, that has the little, you can use it like this. Well, actually, you can use it like this with just, you long press it, and it's got some, let me, this is going to be loud, but let me turn it off. It has two settings too. It's got a high and a low. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna show y'all a little bit. There's a little bit of stuff on here. No, I did not put it on here. Well, actually, I did, but it's from where I opened the box, and I just left it. Let me turn on this light. Maybe y'all can see a little bit better. There's a little dusty stuff here. All right, so I'm gonna you pre long press to turn it on, and then I mean it's got some serious suction. All right, so I'm gonna turn it, that's a higher volume, or higher setting, not volume, it's not a volume. You can use it, no, no, that's not right. You can use it with the, this, and you have to hold it. And vacuum like that. Or you can do like a brush and do like your keyboard, which my keyboard really needs it bad. It would be better if my computer was off, but you can use your brush and, and clean all your stuff up. Oh, I'm opening things, okay? And then I'm gonna turn it off. I didn't even have it on high. You have that off and you can use the wide one, this one. You have to hold it until it, and vacuum with it. But not only does it have the vacuum setting, it has a blowing setting. I'm going to just show you this real quick. Uh, let me find something. It has a, this is like a brush for blowing, which I really don't know what you would do with that. Unless you were like blowing in that part. But I want to find something that I can show you. And it's got this little nozzle that goes on there. That is like a little pinpoint. Well, now I dropped it. Here it is. It's a small nozzle there. Let me get it to focus on it. And maybe you guys can see how small that is. Maybe, I don't know. There we go. It's, it's small. And it's got this one. And you can hook, no, not that one. You hook this to this one. 
that's right. But this just blows. Let me find something I can blow around um, so I can show y'all that. Uh, let's see. I'll see if this is going to work. I don't know if it will or not because I haven't tried. Here, you know what? Let's get some of this right here. Um, you turn it on the same way. Hold long press. And it'll blow it away. And it'll actually blow up like probably balloons and things. It's got turbo speed, y'all. I blew the parts around. Anyway, I don't know how good it is long term or, you know, like that kind of thing, but we'll take that off because I end up poking myself. You could probably blow up an air mattress with this thing if you had it charged fully. I'm not saying for sure, but I'm thinking you probably could. It's got a lot of power, but um, I'll show you if it'll, if it'll pick it up on the camera let's see let's get that focus maybe i don't know if y'all can see the little bits of stuff that it picked up on this filter hopefully y'all can see the little stuff i can see it but there's little bits all over the filter and I think the camera's going to pick it up well enough. But it seems to be a really good little vacuum. Uh, let's see. How long does it last? I, I did not read how long it lasts with a full charge. Let me put that back. Let me see. I didn't read that part. I'm sorry. Uh, the paper filter is every two to three months you need to change this. And you can get... Uh, more it's a hepa filter so let's see you can also do like i'll tell you the things you can do you can do like um in crevices it's got a crevice tool it's got it for like doing the long flat suction like around baseboards and stuff or if you need a brush with the long flat suction, it's got that. Then it's got the wide one for like maybe doing the sofa or maybe your seats in your car or something like that. And then for the blowing part, the air blower mode, it's uh, you can do like inflating. Oh, it's showing where you can inflate like um, pool tool pool toys, and you it's showing where you can like blow out your. Um, blow like on your barbecue charcoal stuff or on a fire because you know sometimes whenever you blow on it it'll do better um, it says you can do balloons computer dusting uh, it also has another thing the long blowing nozzle round plus round brush is um, suitable for shutters fans tracks um, car mats things like that to blow them off and it's got the you can take Let's see, how does it show that? Um, that's what that's for. You can take this and hook it into this part. Let me get this properly. Let me figure out. I blew some of the things around on my desk when I was doing it. All right, so you can take this and um, extract air out of like those vacuum bags and I turn it up on high and turn it off because it's so loud it is loud but it's got a really powerful motor and brushless motors I learned this from Jeff brushless motors are a lot better so you can do that's the three in one part um, you can do like in inflatable beds you can suck the air out of those too the warranty is three months as well just to let you know that but it really seems to do really good so far and y'all will see me using it I don't know like long term how long it's gonna last but it seems pretty powerful and it's lightweight which is one thing that I really like about it because heavy things whenever you're trying to vacuum your car like you could do 
Oh, I put it on upside down. I was like, what is that? That's not right. Um, so it can be turned upside down, this part. But um, whenever you're trying to do a heavy thing in a car, like I usually use my shop back. It's not easy. <laughs> it's just not easy to pull that thing around. But this is super lightweight. I don't know how much it weighs. Um, I don't know how long the battery lasts either whenever it's fully charged but m I know that my regular vacuum it lasts like long enough to vacuum the whole house so I'm pretty sure this would last long enough for your vehicle but I'm not sure but it does not you cannot wet it just make sure it's not like a shop vac you cannot wet it so I don't know how much it weighs but I would say maybe two pounds I don't really know. It's very light. It's light. It's as light as my hair dryer. So, it's possibly lighter than my hair dryer. It's very light. Very, very light. But, I will be using it and showing you guys. You'll see it around when I'm cleaning. And, you know me. If I ever find that something is not working out, I will let you know. But this seems like a pretty good tool. And I know that all of our power tools that we've been buying in recent years, we've been purchasing um, brushless tools because Jeff said they last longer. I turned that light off because it's blinding me. You guys know these lights are like super bright. Um, and it is dark outside. But I, I think it's really a cool tool and I'm excited about using it and um really that's all I've got to say about it I'm not telling you you have to go buy it just like anything else that I ever show you it is completely up to you I'm telling you what I think no I was not paid to share this with you but yes I did get this product for free so that is another thing I am telling you that and they're not asking me for a review on Amazon they're not asking me to do anything like that. Like some people will contact you and ask for you to review something on Amazon or, you know, something like that. They are not doing that. They just asked me to share this with you guys and let you make up your mind yourself about it. Look, I'm putting it all in the bag. That is so neat. And I can take and have this hung in my pantry with my other vacuums because I have a little place I can hang it up and have it all together. But... I'm gonna be using it and you'll see it but we did not do a lot this weekend of the baby shower and I was not gonna show you guys everything at the baby shower because of you know family time plus I mean honestly I, I didn't really want to ask everybody if they wanted to be on YouTube there's a lot of people there and um I, I just, it was just a fun, wonderful, I mean, it was so good. It's my nephew's first baby, and, which I have a lot of nephews, y'all know that, and nieces, but it's his first baby, and they were super excited, and got a lot of fun times out of it, and then today, we went, and Kaylee was playing kitchen. I told her that about whenever I was a little girl, that I, we would take the, uh, what are they called? privet hedge I think is what it's called we would take the leaves and we would pull them off and we would pretend like they were like food and we would make mud pies and all this stuff so she was making things and you saw where that Noah was even involved and he accidentally poured it some of it into his mouth but he thought that was funny I mean it was a really good time we had a lot of fun and everybody got involved in that well not everybody but everybody that was close got involved in her cooking us lots of yummy dirt meals <laughs> it was fun though so that is all I have for today I hope it was okay for adding this vacuum in there I'm really excited about the vacuum I really am I'm gonna have to show it to Jeff whenever he's back inside but it's I was excited whenever they invited me to collaborate with them and I'm even more excited now that I've actually got it and y'all look I can put the owner's manual right in the bag it can go right in there with it <laughs> it's just so neat everything right in the bag I probably didn't put that in there right I was probably supposed to put it in the other way but 
charging cord, everything. It's so little. It's so neat. I mean, look. <laughs> anyway. That's all I have for today. I hope this is okay. Like I said, I hope you guys had a wonderful weekend. I hope that you are having a wonderful week so far. And I, I was, it was a really fun weekend this weekend. And I really enjoyed it a lot. Got a lot of laughs and smiles and just really fun family time. It was really good. So... I'm going to go. I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I do appreciate it. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. Subscribe if you like this channel. And um, hit the bell so you'll be notified whenever I upload. Share it with a friend if you think somebody would like to see things that I do. I do not, if you're new, I do not do this type of collaboration very often. Um... There's just, it's just not something I do. Usually whenever I do a collaboration, I try, I mean, when I first started, I didn't do so well, but I try now to make sure that the company is going to be good to the people and they have a satisfaction guarantee with this. I hope they really do. Plus you buy it on Amazon, so there should be an Amazon thing where that, you know, you can send it back and all those things because... You know, that's just the way it is. I, I mean, as far as I know, it's a good company. And all of my research says that it is. So, I hope it really is. And I hope it's a good vacuum. But, anyway, back to what I was saying before. If you don't mind, please leave me a comment down below and let me know how you're doing. Because I really do want to know. And remember, don't take any wooden nickels. And be sweet. <laughs>